there is technology that has helped people to steal from the common pulse. There's a generation that were not here when we're using postal service and sending physical letters. That generation have grown up using technology. The whole purpose is to use technology to further protect the integrity of our electoral process. Four years ago, we identified the, the growth of social media as a medium for citizens to become active and engage with governments and have partnered with Social Media Week as a key avenue, not just to reaching a younger generation of people who, who work with social media, but to reach the large population at large. And, and over that period of time, we have seen a growth uh, of importance around social media in elections, in citizen action, in holding government to account and providing an avenue too for government to engage effectively with citizens. Uh, the, the important thing about social media is its inclusiveness. Uh, it reaches everybody, everybody can participate. It's no longer just the, the government, it's no longer just the media, uh, the, you know, the formal media. It is everybody can participate in getting ideas out. However, I think it's also something, it's interesting that, to have something like this where we can take the time out to reflect that everybody participating needs to be responsible about what they're saying uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Clearly we know too that this, this year is the precursor to what will be an important election year um, for Nigeria. So having um, via Skype uh, the INEC chairman himself um, engaging and discussing where INEC is in terms of the registration processes for people, talking about the 2019 timetable. The um, technology that uh, really revolutionized elections in 2015, the smart card readers, uh, we're enhancing the functionality of the card readers, uh, having listened to all the issues raised by uh, voters in the field. The whole purpose is to use technology to further protect the integrity of our electoral process, particularly in transmitting the outcome of what transpires at the polling units, and the Commission is committed to that. Budget, we know, is, is a, a relatively new organization, um, five, the past five, six years, that has grown out of the co-creation hub and has generated a lot of data and taken the budget and really simplified it using infographics and using a lot of simplification approaches to enable ordinary Nigerians to be able to digest and understand the budget and therefore be able to ask questions. Public resources have to be efficiently managed before you can actually have a progressive society. And one way for you to ensure that public resources are properly managed is to ensure that citizens follow the money. Um, Youth Alive Foundation's innovative Your Excellency app is aimed at doing just that. By keying into the whole concept of digital gaming, which young people are very engaged with. So in engaging youths early, we begin to teach them what the proper leadership should be. We're also working with Anij. Um, Anij um, has, has a long and deep history of working on issues of transparency and accountability, of corruption, of looking at kind of stolen loot um, uh, that's, that's foisted abroad and that needs to be repatriated to this country. And, and they've come up with an interesting app that's now beginning to look at property to begin to see how we can begin to work with the relevant agencies to make that information uh, publicly available. The USAID Civil Society project also early identified in 2015 the power and role of the Nigerian entertainment industry um, in influencing and shaping public opinion. There are lots of young people who see the potential of, of the film medium to influence change and we're, we're here to support them. Film is incredibly, it's, it's just an incredibly powerful tool. I think um, you can literally capture an audience and say a lot in 10 minutes, in 20 minutes, and in half an hour, in a 90 minute film, um, that a lot of articles or, or workshops would not be able to do. Um, and I think it's, it's important to be able to harness that tool, which is film, um, to kind of bring to the fore some of the more important conversations uh, and social issues that you face in the country. Four years downstream, I think we can point to a number of successes. 
We have had different levels and arms of government come to this process to engage and talk about and see the growing importance of social media. Social Media Week as a partner have been very effective in providing an avenue and space and now the Thursdays are clear as the governance day where these discussions take place and a whole host of other activities are now being built into this particular day. Um, our partner Enough is Enough, who have worked consistently on social media, have been a strong ally in, in getting that message out. Annually, typically now, this project reaches over 10 million uh, Twitter users during just this session and in excess of 50 million annually through our work on social media. And so these are some of the initiatives that the USAID Civil Society project has supported over the last three, four years, beginning now to debut on the actual scene and take their place um, as part of that engine of engaging Nigerians in active citizenship.